everybody. I'm going to put my husband on the spotlight. This is unrehearsed. Can you say all the good afternoon greetings? Hola. Uh, bon, bonjour. Uh, hi. <laughs> okay, so you said a lot of hellos, but we're looking for a good afternoon, like buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, buenas sabati. What? I don't know. You, 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 were, you were on a good path with buena. Do you remember Buenas noches. Bon? Okay, so that's good evening. Good evening. Good night. Bon po. Amarillo. There you go. Bon pomerillo. Bon pomerillo. Bona. Petit. Bon petit. I don't know. Bon après. Como medio día. Bon après. Bon après. I don't know. Bon jour. Bon après midi. Bon jour. Bon jour. Bon jour. Bon jour. Bon jour. So when I used to teach kids, there was a song by Alain Lelay that he used to sing, Bonjour, bonjour, comment ça va? And he learned it. But no, so bonjour is actually hello. Bon après-midi is uh, good afternoon. All of those, hello everybody. Today is Hurricane Douglas Day. It's actually supposed to hit sometime in the evening. Hang on a second. We just saw something so amazing or scary. I'm not entirely sure. We're shocked. There was a kid. He's probably, what, seven, eight years old. He's on a wheelchair. Both his legs are, I don't know what to call it, but they were wrapped together with something. No, no, not wrapped together. He got the... Like braces? Braces. He has braces on his legs. He got off the wheelchair, onto his knees, and crawled after a chicken that had chicks. So we were just going really slow thinking, should we turn back? Because we didn't see any adults. We didn't see anybody in the vicinity. We just kept going. We're thinking if he's in a wheelchair, he definitely has parents who are concerned. But mm, I don't know what to do about that. Anyway, I was saying today is Hurricane Douglas Day. It's meant to hit between tonight and tomorrow, Sunday night. Because I'm so behind on my vlog, I'm actually gonna be sharing all this on my Instagram stories and my Facebook stories. We're gonna check on the commissary to see if the line went down because my husband went this morning. We don't really need anything. We were just trying to get some additional things that would be nice to have. So we're just gonna check on the line. He went about 20 minutes before they were meant to open and the line went all around the commissary to the back of the building. It was just not worth it, especially because we don't need anything. We're gonna check now to see, maybe just grab a few things and head on our way. We're actually on our way to Wicked High, my favorite, favorite restaurant here in Hawaii where I can actually eat pizza that does not make me sick. There's also a very delicious, I think it's a sourdough waffle, don't quote me on that. They just have this amazing waffle too that my husband's gonna get for tomorrow morning. Then we're just gonna head back home, fill the tub with water, and prepare all of our things for if the power goes out, things like that. It's meant to hit as a category one hurricane on the island of Oahu. The cone of us uncertainty is actually uh, going straight through. Let's check on the line. All right, the line is actually not that bad, but it's not worth it for just grabbing a few things. As I was saying, it's meant to hit as a category one hurricane. Cone of uncertainty is actually straight through the state of Hawaii. They already cleared the big island or Hilo uh, for hurricane damage. They said they're gonna get uh, pretty strong winds and a lot of rain. It's gonna be heavy storm for them, but it's definitely hurricane for us. We're not concerned, worried, or anything. We don't live near the coast. Uh, we're not in a, in a, son inundable. Um, we're not in a flood, flood, flooding area. Ugh, again with the Spanglish. And we're actually surrounded by mountains too, so we're not concerned about wind damage either. Homes here are built to withstand uh, category three hurricanes as well. So really, like I mentioned, we've lived through so many hurricanes before back in Puerto Rico. If uh, worst case scenario hits concerning a category one or two hurricane, we're ready for it. We know how to live through it. And we're actually pretty privileged in comparison to a lot of other families here in Hawaii, especially with such a huge homeless community. So 
also when you think about perspective we're fine all right we're on our way over to wicked high i'll show you the place again even though i probably show it to you every other week we've been going pretty much every other week since he was away for a week then we thought hey why not go this weekend then we'll head back home get ready for the hurricane and snuggle with the rain weather <laughs> All we did was park the car in the garage and he got a message from work. Are you going to work? No. Okay. So here's my pizza. I said heavy on the basil. I don't know what happened. This is not heavy on the basil. That's average on the basil. Fortunately, we have basil in the garden. I'm gonna get some basil leaves and uh, Add them to the pizza because <laughs> I want more basil. Our little vegetable garden. If you've never seen it before, we have Swiss chard, a type of spinach. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot some type of onion. We have wait, this is mint, this is parsley, I think. Then we have another type of spinach, uh, lettuce, and more spinach, beets, rosemary basil, coriander, or as we know in Puerto Rico, recao, and lemongrass. So I'm just gonna grab some leaves from here and fix my pizza. Please don't mind the hair. I'm just, I just put my hair up, whatever. My husband and I are getting ready for the hurricane. Just preparing the backyard. I'm looking for my little step ladder because he's gonna take down the lights. According to the news, the 5 p.m. update, the hurricane is currently at a category one. Sorry about the lighting here. It's a category one and the big island is going to feel the effects first, right about now, maybe in an hour or two. Then by tomorrow, Sunday evening, we'll feel the effects, but only uh, the big island, Hilo, and the island after us, oof, I might butcher this. I don't wanna say names that are not correct, just the island that's after Oahu, they're gonna feel tropical storm effects. They're only predicting hurricane effects for Oahu. I don't know. We're just getting stuff ready. We're not gonna bring the pots and plants inside like I thought we were gonna do. He is gonna take down anything that's hanging. So those are coming down, the lights are coming down. And right now he's just trying to save some seeds that he spotted in our little vegetable garden. He's gonna put them in a little egg carton right here so you can see he's already started save some seeds now uh, he's gonna pick up the dog poop <laughs> so it's not flying against our windows that's pretty much it there's not much to do oh yeah we have to fill the tub with water but i think we're gonna leave that for tomorrow morning because there's nothing going on today my gardener mm -hmm. I didn't even know those were seeds. I thought they were just flowers. No, it's just seeds. I know these are seeds. I know those are, right? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling a little bit of abdominal discomfort, so I almost kept on showing you that even though the hurricane is on the way and uh, we have all these preps to make, life doesn't stop. My husband is actually on his way out to ride his bike. Ventilada. 
as if nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's even got those special shoes to clip onto the bike. What are they called? Clip-ons. Clip-ons? <laughs> well, that was easy. He's got a little app on there. It's called Strava. Mm -hmm. And Lali's going to go with him. Lali. Bye. Bye, con papa. Lali. Vete con papa. Luna's just chilling. Ah, Luna. I want to. I want to catch how this works. <laughs> and there he goes. Bye bye. Ven, Lali, vamos a entrar. As for me, I don't know how much you'll be able to tell on camera, but hang on, let me try. See this? That that is not my usual belly. That's me being bloated. Can you tell? Ah, I'm so uncomfortable right now. There you go. I think you can tell better that way. I can barely drink water. Anytime I take three sips. I feel so much pressure and a lot of air starts coming out. I'm actually feeling a little, not out of breath or short of breath, just uh, tight because I have so much pressure in my abdomen. I can't lie down. Last night I had to take an antacid because every time I lie down, everything starts coming back up and not food and not like I was going to vomit or anything. It was just air it's just air and my gastroenterologist told me it's because of that damaged valve between the esophagus and the stomach that air just accumulates comes back up and you know i also have GERD anyway gastroesophageal reflux disease so uh reflux is very common in me ever since i was a baby actually oh uh, so the something definitely either triggered it or i don't know it's just acting up on its own i honestly don't know how that works the only thing i ate that is outside of my diet was Nutella when I was really stressed when my husband left for the week, but I don't abuse of it or anything. So I cut that about three days ago because yesterday, wow. For me to take an antacid, it means that I was really, I was really uncomfortable. My husband actually convinced me to take it because you know, I'm horrible at taking pills, don't really like to, but after I took it, I felt better and I thought, yeah, something's definitely going on. I'm struggling to drink water today. I just, I feel so much pressure. This is so uncomfortable. Someone's ready to eat, as you can tell. I'm gonna feed the doggies and then try to down some water while sitting on the couch. I'm not gonna do too much today. Right now talking, is a little uncomfortable. Hmm. On our way out real quick to drop off a sample. Choo -choo. Uh, you can't see it, you can't see what business I have. <laughs> It's a sample for uh, a customer who lives here on base. Wow, this is really dark. Just a customer who lives here on base. Gonna drop this off real quick. My husband also wanted to get some fresh air. So it's a two for one. Two birds with one stone. Go back home, make some dinner. Probably, because I'm still feeling a little upset. My stomach's a little upset. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the night goes. There is nothing uh, weather-wise that even indicates there's a hurricane in the horizon. So, uh, we still have plans to go to the beach tomorrow because my husband's gonna try uh, windsurfing kites. So, fingers crossed that nothing happens. Everything's still the same. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Stay with us tomorrow, we'll find out.